Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition. I have it on good authority, or I guess not good authority, I have it on a YouTube comment that uh, there is actually a another ending that is glitched right now, so you don't get to see it at the end of the game, but you can come to the stats screen here and check it out for yourself. So let's do that. Well, that's cryptic as per usual for Binding of Isaac endings I'm not gonna go too much into my interpretation of it because that's not my job and I'm sure there are a lot of people on the wiki who are very interested in dissecting that but anyway that's our ending for beating the game with Samson which happened last time and uh, very excited about that didn't expect to do that so soon so this time we're gonna go back to the old challenge list I still don't really feel comfortable doing Dark Was the Night yet. I feel like that's an absurdly difficult one. Let's check out Large Marge. Again, not sure what this entails. Curse of the Labyrinth. Maybe we'll just get Curse of the Labyrinth every floor. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But anyway, looks like all of these will probably give us uh, Vanilla Isaac with no D6. Which is alright, you know. It's kind of interesting to be able to go back and play as that after having unlocked a D6, I guess. So we'll start off right here on the Cellar XL, and hopefully get through this alright. That's probably actually easier than uh, fighting two Cellar Floors, because, like, say we fought the Cellar Part 1 and got Widow, I would almost certainly die, unless I had gotten a really good item out of the item room. But this time, we're going to have potentially two item rooms to choose from, and maybe even a shop item, if I can get 15 cents over the course of this extra large floor. And that may give us enough power for me to be able to actually beat Widow without just, you know, floundering and looking like an idiot, blah blah blah, what's in here? Teleport straight to the deal with the devil room, where I have to choose between the nail and the pact. Gotta go with the nail, man. That's gonna be huge. Uh, so right from the beginning we're gonna be generating spirit hearts. All I have to do is live. And uh, so it looks like it was a great decision actually to go into that uh, curse room. I, I kind of like those, but you know, when you start off. Oh, that's interesting. If the shots go through the spider web now, I don't think this was the case before. There was a small patch that changed a couple of things, I've been told. I haven't really looked at it. Um, you know, basically fixed bugs. I think one of the things they fixed was uh, how that Isaac on a horse will spawn when you find a uh, small rock upgrade out of a tinted rock. Um, but whatever. Anyway. Got our item room here. What's this? That Harley Quinn baby that looks like really freaky, man. That is a strange upgrade. Oh, I got a spirit heart out of that fire. Man. You know, I always berate myself. I'm like, man, why am I shooting all these fires on camera? Nobody wants to see that shit. But look! Look what happens! Riches! Untold riches! Every once in a while. From shooting poop and fire. So that, that one spirit heart is going to be a huge advantage here. That may actually save the game for me. We'll see. But hopefully, since this room, is, this floor is extra large, we'll get a number of spirit hearts before we have to deal with the boss, which will be great. Awesome, getting an item like the nail right off the bat because it allows you to really stack up some hearts before things get hard. Though when I'm on the cellar like this, you know, I'm not really familiar with a lot of things, so it's uh, harder than it should be for me. Maybe let's see what we can do here. Well, there should still be one more item room on this floor, assuming I find another key, which hopefully I will. Another penny out of that poop. It's awesome. I'm feeling good about fires today after getting that spirit heart. That was, oh, okay, well. That was bad. I apologize. Okay, this is that fire that shoots at me, so I'm going to make sure to take that out from a distance. Bomb out of there. Really could use some more keys. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> there are a lot of rooms, it seems like, in Wrath of the Lamb where I must just not know what to do yet, but it seems like you can't really avoid taking damage when you walk in. Uh, there's not a lot of place to go. That's going to be the tick, which is going to permanently take our um, slot, and I think it also does something for us. I'm not really clear on that. Oh my god, how am I getting hit so much? This is bad. Like that slowing effect, yeah, the slowing effect messed me up because it also works on the meat things tiers. Oh, there's an infinite key, that's cool. Um, so what ended up happening was I was dodging, but I dodged incorrectly. 
uh, because the shot slowed down before it got to me. Oh, come on. There we go. There's a baby sack there. No reason not to visit the shop with an infinite key. I love to get that uh, prayer card. Though, again, really sucked to have to give up the nail right after spending two hearts on it, but, you know, I gotta say, prayer card's better than the nail, I think. In my professional Isaac opinion. Though, I don't know, man. Uh, it's, it's different. Because the way I would use a prayer card, with this knowledge I have now, is just use it basically once or twice a floor, and get a free health up out of it. So if I'm right in this uh, Large Marge thing, which makes sense, I think Large Marge is actually you just get Curse of the Labyrinth every time. So I'm not sure how I would use Prayer Card for that, because there's so many rooms. Look how big this floor is. For the first floor, man, that's pretty large. Oh, that's... Oh no! That's the thing I unlocked, and it's a trinket, so I can't get it. It's a bloody penny, I don't know what it does, but I'm assuming since I had to unlock it by beating out of the cathedral with Samson. I would assume it's pretty good, so it's very unfortunate that I have this tick stuck in my item slot. I want to know what it does! Ah, oh, man. Oh well. I'm not gonna look for the secret room, and of course we're fighting Widow. Okay, so this could easily be over. Uh, with only two hearts, I'm not optimistic about my chances, though. I was I was looking at my last fight with this guy, and oh wow, I'm actually doing significant, significant damage with this Harlequin baby. So he can, like, stomp on his own stuff, so I think maybe the best way to deal with this is, yeah, stand, like, over there, and he'll stomp on his own baby sacks. Wow, that was really easy. I didn't expect that. You know, it's possible, also, that they, uh, they kind of nerfed him a little bit in the update, because that seems way the fuck easier than it was before. And here's Pin. This little dude should be no problem whatsoever. Yeah, wow, look at that. I'm not worried. So it looks like they may have buffed him too. I don't remember him having shots that go off like that. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be a big deal still. We did get an HP up and another deal with the Devil Room. Uh, which has the same shit as it had last time. And if I pick that up, it will definitely kill me. So let's just head onward here. And yes, again, we get Curse of the Labyrinth. So I'm pretty, pretty confident that that's the, the gimmick or the conceit of this, uh, you know. Challenge run. It's too bad I wasted that key when I would have gotten a gold key later, but you know. Hindsight 2020 should definitely be using my nail. That's a dumb move that's gonna get me killed if I don't use that as often as possible. Go. I'm a huge fan of Harlequin Baby, I've gotta say. It's a pretty good item. There's our key right there. Ouija Tears, I mean I have no recourse for that, I'm just gonna have to pick it up unless I find a a uh Oh, this is going to make shooting fire really hard. Um, unless I get a D6 later on this floor, which is extremely unlikely, but I guess still possible. But anyway, uh, Ouija tiers are okay, I suppose, especially if we get flight, which seems way the fuck more common in this, uh, this expansion. I think the scary item I got- oh, come on! <laughs> I got stuck on everything. That was just poor play on my part. That was ridiculous. Um, uh oh, uh oh. God damn it, man. Do some more damage, I think. Um, what was I talking? Oh yeah, the the scary item I got on the last um, playthrough with Samson. I believe that makes you fly. The dead dove makes you fly. The uh, the holy grail obviously makes you fly. What else? There's some other flight items as well that are new. I'm not thinking of them right now. now how do you get into that room? I don't, maybe you have to take damage to enter. Because there, there will always be an item inside there. And I like that the sound of the, the sound of that. You have to fight three bosses, but you know, big deal. They're like Monstro and shit. Um, we do our, have our nail. But hopefully we'll just get flight so we can go in there. That might be the only way. I don't know. so badly. What the fuck? Oh! Apparently, now, this didn't used to be the case, and I can tell you that for a fact, but now, if you have the nail, 
and you walk into TNT, it blows up in your face. That's a shitty thing to learn. <laughs> God. I'm doing extremely poorly this run, and some of it's my fault and some of it's just luck of the draw, basically. Hopefully we get another key so we can go to the second item room here. And I'd also love to get into the shop and hopefully find a holy grail in there, because the ability to fly would be humongous. Okay, come on. There we go. And my goddamn cat is bothering me again. I'm gonna put this guy outside. I'll be right back. And we're back. That's so weird, man. He never used to be like that. I he's just lately he's just crawling all over me, which is really annoying when I'm trying to make videos. The like I said, never had that problem with that cat before. But whatever. It's nice that he's being a little bit more affectionate, I guess, but I just wish he would time it a little bit better. So anyway. What was I talking about? I don't know. The Emperor takes us directly to the boss. That could be useful later on. It would be nice to skip an extra large wound floor for sure, so maybe I'll try to save it for that. I'm trying to sneak some homing tears in here. Definitely worth a bomb to pick up three bombs. So we'll grab that. And keep going, trying to find the item room and trying to find a key. Really hope I find a key, because it would suck to miss one of these item rooms when I'm already not doing fantastic. Could really use an awesome game changing item to turn this run around. But if this is like the previous challenge run in that I only need to beat Mom, I feel like I have a fairly good shot at that. Uh, break that, and then. Yep. That worked really well. Come on, man. Oh, man. Come on. You're not going to make me walk in front of this spike, are you? Dickhead. There we go. Break that down. Take the guy out. Oh, man. Come on. And I guess I'll just do the same to this guy. That seems way easier than the alternative. Man, I look really weird with that juice stain on my face with the uh, nail effect, don't I? This room shouldn't be a huge problem, especially... Oh, I need to remember that I have Ouija Tears, because that makes rooms like this way easier. There are rocks scattered about like this. That guy out, and this guy. Oh, come on, fly. There we go, another spirit heart is huge. Glad to have that, for sure. Especially if we're going to be fighting one of those newfangled bosses on this floor. There's our key. Now we just got to find the item room. It's only six cents. I'll definitely reserve that for the item room rather than the shop. Uh oh. <laughs> this could be tough. Especially, I don't know what to expect out of those spiders. Somebody let the cat back in. And he just jumped onto my lap. I'll be right back once again. Totally unprofessional. Okay, and we're back. Hopefully that problem is solved. Let's check out what's in these chests. One bomb for two chests is almost always a great deal. Two keys out of that one and a key and a heart out of that one. Well, I mean, it's good, but uh, I'm not sure if I need that many keys. What's this? Oh no. Oh no. Yep, that was stupid. <laughs> no way out of that one once I ran in that corner. Pick up the dead bird, I suppose. Yeah, Harley couldn't baby to shoot that. I just ignore the other one because I'm lazy. With ten bombs, I think I'm going to start trying to find the secret room, even though secret rooms seem glitched or changed or something because they do not appear in uh, like predictable patterns anymore. Definitely pick up all this money. My goal here is, like, go to the secret room, find a bunch of money in the secret room, and then go to the shop. Hopefully pick up, like, a, um, what do you call that thing? Holy Grail, or something to that effect. Let's go look for the secret room elsewhere. And with the Holy Grail, we can fly, obviously, and with flight plus Ouija tears, uh, we'd be in a really good position. There it is. Three cents, come on. Okay, one more penny and I can pick up whatever's in the secret room. I think I can trade 
a bomb for a scent over in this room up here. Let's check on that really quick. And if that's the case, we'll go to the shop. But, oh, I just have to walk over spikes to get it. Or I could blow it out with a bomb. Um, let's see if that's necessary. First, we'll check out the shop, see what's in there. Well, <laughs> there it is. All right, so we're definitely picking that up. Uh, so first, we'll finish off the floor. See if we find another scent that we don't have to sacrifice health or bombs to pick up. And then we'll go back and pick up that Holy Grail. Which will be huge, a health upgrade plus a uh, uh, flight. So good. Oh, <laughs> that was close. I'm almost like forgetting how to walk around rocks. I've had flight so often lately because I... I really feel like there's an unbalanced number of flight items in the game, considering how big an advantage it is to have an item that allows flight. Definitely use the nail in this room. Get another spirit heart. Doing fairly well here. No pennies yet. But, you know, I'm still hopeful. And if not, seven. Seven bombs isn't a big, uh, with seven bombs, one bomb for a penny isn't a huge deal. Definitely worthwhile considering what that penny will buy. Oh god, that was dumb as fuck. Thought I was totally safe finding this rock and then I just poked my head out right into a bullet. Uh, can't pick that up, that's a trinket. I'm 99% sure. And I think it's a pretty good trinket. If I remember correctly, I kind of glanced it trinket effects. I think that one has something to do with a random mushroom effect. And most mushrooms are really goddamn good, so I wouldn't mind picking that up at all. But anyway, looks like we are indeed going to have to spend a bomb just to access this uh, penny. But right away, we'll be able to use that flight upgrade to go to the super mob trap room, pick up whatever's in there for free, and then fly right the fuck back out without having to deal with any of the bullshit. And, oh, I can't shoot a bomb in. Let's just place one here and maybe, like... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Good thing my speed wasn't too high, or I would have literally been incapable of pulling that maneuver off. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about when I say that uh, flight is kind of overpowered. Like, now that I have flight, Mob trap rooms, no problem at all to me. Like, I, there are no penalties. It's free items for me every single time. And uh, that was fine when flight was like something you'd see one in every like 15 runs. But now it's like, oh, free HP up. Thank you. See you guys later. And all I have to deal with now is the fact that song stays on. Oh, look, they fixed that glitch. Look at that. Now we're back to the normal soundtrack. Used to be when you flew out of a mob trap room the song would keep on playing for a significant amount of time. So anyway, now that we've done that, let's go down this super long path that we can't sub, uh, like subvert by other paths, which is really rare in a map like this. One of these labyrinthine creations. But anyway, head on down, fight whatever the boss is, and then fight whatever the next boss is. And then head on down to the next floor. Dirty, shouldn't be a problem. Super easy. It's funny, I used to think Gertie was like a fairly difficult caves boss, but now it's just like, oh man, a boss I've fought before? Super easy. Fallen? I don't give a fuck. You know, anything. Anything from the old game is so much easier than anything from the new game for me right now. Uh oh. That was dumb as hell. There we go. You know, this dude here, this little fly gentleman. The box of stuff. Explosive diarrhea, no thank you, I'll hang on to the emperor. What's this? Two of clubs. Let's look really closely at what this does. Two and a half spirit arts, one coin, eight bombs, five keys. Doubled my bombs, okay. That's interesting. Uh, so now we have a shit ton of bombs. That's obviously a trinket of some, de some uh, description. Now we gotta fight Peep, who is uh, 
Probably my least favorite game. Oh man, from the old game. I thought he was gonna move. What the fuck? They changed Peep as well. Now I have no idea where he's going. But if he's just gonna keep on landing in the center there, like, I've got no problem with that at all. Because I'll just sit here and uh, shoot at him, basically. But yeah, it's really weird. He's, he should be moving when he jumps, and he's not. I can't believe that I'm taking so much damage from these goddamn eyeballs. I also can't believe that my homing shots think that they should be... Oh, there he goes. Now he's moving. Man, so that was a dumb amount of damage based on, I believe, some kind of strange movement glitch with Peep where he got stuck in the middle there and deked me out. Uh, definitely pick up this wire coat hanger for tears up because, you know, what else am I going to do? I don't have a D6. Heading on into the depths. Curse of the Labyrinth, of course. And uh, just vanilla depths. Again, I, I think we were just on the cellar as far as new rooms. Use the nail for maximum effect. Oh man. <laughs> a little bit slow, I feel. That's one thing that's different about these new, or at least the uh, the Holy Grail. In the old game, like every single uh, flight item would also give you significant speed up. I don't think that's the case with the Holy Grail. I think you fly at the same speed you would walk, which is interesting and different. But again, here's an example of flight being horrendously overpowered. Because, you know, these guys can't do shit, basically. I'll sit here. Yeah, we can do this all day. There we go. Okay, we got leapers to worry about. Just keep moving. <laughs> Just keep moving. My leaper strategy is basically always move around and when they jump, try to move diagonally. Nice easy room here. Go, what's this? Devil. Um, I'll use that soon and then take the Emperor card back. Let's use it right here. I don't really. I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna forget about it otherwise. God damn it, man. I have really, really poor play today for me. I, I'm surprised at myself. But luckily I got that nail early on that's kind of making up for my mistakes to some degree. Pretty soon we'll have another nail charge. Might as well open that up to get a trinket that I cannot pick up. Definitely do not want to go into the depths, or the <laughs> the depths boss fight, because that may or may not lock me in. I'm not sure, really sure how this is going to work. Uh, Mom definitely would. We're on the depths XL, so I'm not sure if I can go back out of the first boss room or what. Oh, get away! <laughs> that was close. But we got through it all right. Definitely want to find the uh, all the rooms really because I have an infinite key, so might as well Let's check out what's going on there. These guys will never stop being a humongous pain in the ass and basically impossible to dodge a lot of the time. That's another trinket that I can't pick up apparently. I should really stop picking up the tick so I can see other trinkets. Like I'm not sure what it does or whether it's like helpful, but I am sure that it's stopping me from trying out any other trinkets, and that kind of sucks. Oh, this is a shitty room. I really don't feel like another style of, like, bitch-ass turret that sits in the middle of the room and waits until all the enemies are dead. I don't feel like that's what this game needed. I hated those things so much. This guy's glitched out. Another glitched out enemy that seems really, really common in this expansion is enemies that just get themselves into corners and cannot move. Ah, uh, which is fine by me. These guys out. Super easy. It's nice to have a room that doesn't freak me the fuck out. Those can be few and far between on the Wrath of the Land expansion. Oh god, come on, come on! What was that? I, I can't believe myself, I'm so I'm disgusted with my play here. I really use a nail so I could like, have something else that helps me make up for my terrible mistakes. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ten bombs is pretty shitty considering I already had 24 of them. And really could have used 
some kind of item to uh, help me out a little bit more because I'm not doing so hot. But whatever. Okay, come on. You just gotta be dying soon. Alright. Shoot this guy in the back of the head, as per usual. Same deal with this guy. Cool. Troll bomb and a heart I can't use as well. That's really helpful, I guess. Really easy room again. One of the worst games from the one of the worst rooms from the original game. Though I guess it would be a lot worse if there were turrets and more leapers, but so any room with a leaper is kinda used to be terrible, now it's like, yeah, big deal. These guys should be no problem. Infinite key means go to the shop no matter what. Oh that's mom's purse that lets you pick up another uh trinket. So I definitely want to try to save up for that. Uh, not that I know how good the trinkets are or anything like that, I just kind of want to try out more of them. Fuck me. I can't believe how many fucking hits I'm taking. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, it didn't go so badly. Oh, come on. <laughs> Shoot him. I feel like my homing tears are actually hurting me there. Like, I would have hit him a bunch of times with the homing tear, like, swung around him. Homing tears are nice on zombies, though. They seem to loop around and hit them in the back when you would have missed a lot. Another key, man. Don't really need all these keys at this point. I'm gonna check for the secret room. 35 goddamn bombs. Not there. Could be down here as well. Nope. And so we're in another one of those situations where, like, then where the fuck is the secret room, you know? Because, uh, like, like I said, either they're glitched or they've changed the rules of how secret rooms work or there just uh, sometimes isn't a secret room or something. Because a lot of times you'll check every possible location for the secret room and not find a single one. That guy got glitched the fuck out, which was, I guess, beneficial for him because it allowed him to force me to come over in a position where I was going to take damage to attack him. go. Two more pennies, getting closer to Mom's purse. Always wanted a purse, and I can roleplay as Tinky Winky is of course my lifelong dream, second to becoming a Let's Player. Larry Jr. here, this guy should drop a Spirit Heart, which will be great, and we'll also get another charge on the nail. There it is, there's another Trinket, oh I want to try that one, that one looks awesome. Definitely have to get four more cents. Oh god, <laughs> it sucked. The Using the nail made it so I couldn't move out of the way should have really waited to see what the situation was like before I did that. Well, there's a pill. I don't think we've seen that one before. Yep. Yeah. What is it? Tell the fuck, man. <laughs> That's annoying. It's too bad I didn't already have the 15 cents. That would be really convenient if I had suddenly teleported all the way back to the shop. But definitely, before I forget, want to go and loot that room and get my Empress card back. Which, if we are going to the womb, is going to be really important. Because doing an extra large womb floor just doesn't appeal to me that much, you know? So it seems like the main disadvantage of running into an extra large floor is that you do two floors at once, but you only get one shop. So you essentially get half the opportunities to get shop items. Definitely will pop that open for a key I don't need. But it was a free key because I used my golden key. And uh, two cents away from getting that mom's purse, I really hope. Oh wow, and of course the second item room was the last place I looked. It had been so long that I had totally forgotten I was looking for it. At this point I was just looking for uh, extra money. Oh, there's the three dollar bill, that's cool. Definitely take that. Too bad that doesn't give us any money, but... You know, 
what they say about beggars and choosers. No secret room there? Yeah, that's every single possible secret room location. So now I'm just gonna try random areas on the edge of the map because I have so many goddamn bombs. And I wanna do a little bit of experimentation and see what the fuck is going on here. It's not on any of those map edges. Let's try down here and then just bomb our way all the way around the edge of the map. Oh, there it is, see? And of course, for my ingenuity with fight greed, I definitely will take this guy out because I definitely want the money he's going to drop, either that or the steam sale. Yeah, well, there's a steam sale, which will allow us to pick up Mom's purse. And then we can go get that skull thing and, well, probably not see what it does, but maybe find out what that does. Because it looks pretty cool. It looks really big compared to the other trinkets, and that's making me think it's good. Uh, what can I say? I just like nice big hard objects. There's that. We can also afford this spirit heart. Since we're on the last shop, no reason not to do that really. Then I gotta remember which room that goddamn skull was in. I think it was this one to our right directly, but it may be in the top right. Nope, that's the ace of spades. Which who knows what that does. Really interested in this. What is it? Cursed Skull. Sounds like it might actually be bad, but, you know. Maybe not? Or maybe it is? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Does it seem to do anything to our tears? Uh, does not appear to. There's Pinky Eye, but I'm gonna stick with uh, Cursed Skull. We are fighting the Fallen. Which is awesome, because then we're gonna deal with the Devil item. Assuming it's not that goddamn fucking cat again. <laughs> Which I never, ever, ever want to see anywhere ever again. So we'll take these guys out fairly trivially. Not sure what my random tear effect here is. Wow, that was bad. I'm really slow. I like way slower than I had realized I was. But the like the fallen is faster than I am. Apparently, so when he chases me around, it's a huge problem. Burnt Penny has appeared in the basement. Uh, not sure why or how. I'm not sure why I didn't get a drop from that boss fight. Uh, that's kind of shitty. But we should be able to take out Mom no problem here. Assuming that I remember- Oh god, we have fucking, um, my reflection for this room, which is probably the worst tier effect in the entire game, in that it's actually detrimental. Um, really gotta be careful here. Yeah, so this is going poorly because I have to be so close to anything to hit. Uh, because... My reflection like effectively cuts your range in half, which is really shitty. Um, so three dollar bill actually not <laughs> not being helpful here. But looks like we're gonna get through this all right anyway. I just gotta be really careful because that foot can hit you from across the room now. Uh, <laughs> that was a dumb hit to take, but doing okay. Oh man. See there's that thing again, you get hit. Okay, yep. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as Yeah, this is the same one we saw last time. So we did complete that challenge run as well. It looks like challenge runs only go up to the mom fight. Which is okay, I guess, a little bit disappointing maybe. Uh, because, you know, if you're if you're on a good run and you get to mom and you kill her, it's like, come on. I didn't really beat the game, but I am kind of glad in this case that it ended so quickly because I was doing incredibly poorly and probably would have died on the womb despite having the Emperor card in my inventory. So from now on I know to plan for a just a run to mom for those, which actually makes it a whole lot easier to complete these challenge runs I would say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, that was a lot of fun. I think next time I'll probably try another challenge run, and then after that we'll probably get back to trying to beat the game, maybe with Isaac, maybe with a different character. Who knows? Let's see. Anyway, stay tuned for more Wrath of the Lamb content. There'll be lots of videos coming out in the near future, so keep an eye on my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.